Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. So in today's video, I have a full face of W7 makeup. I recently did a video, I will link it up here, where I unboxed a mystery bundle box thing from W7 and I was absolutely blown away by the quality of the products, the price, all of that stuff. So I went onto the W7 website and I picked up a load of new bits. So I've got a box full of goodies here and I'm just going to be getting ready very very quickly <laughs> for my day. Just for reference I usually like to give myself an hour and a half, two hours to sit down and film while today I have to leave the house in 45 minutes so if I am a little bit chaotic today then that is why. Um, I'm going to start with a product that I already know and love one of my favourite foundations of all time. This is the W7 HD foundation. This says on the bottle that it's the shade Buff, which on the website is like one of the darkest shades. So I don't know if this is just mislabeled. I'm not sure, but either way, obviously I am not one of the darkest shades um, and this is pretty much perfect for me. So I'm just going to take one pump on the back of my hand and I'm using a sponge today to try and like sheer out the coverage a little bit because this is quite full coverage. It is like very much buildable, very like medium buildable to full coverage. I don't necessarily want that today, like I say I am actually, <laughs> I'm leaving the house today, so I don't want anything that's too much and it is also, if you can't tell by like the pinkness in my skin, it is about 30 million degrees today, so I just want something quite light. So that is the foundation blended out, it's honestly the nicest finish for something that says that it's like HD where you would think that it would be like a really matte flat sort of nothing finish. I think that this is a really natural almost like natural to glowy finish. I absolutely love it. I can't stop using it. Um, so I got the concealer in the same range um, and this is a new one and I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to think of this. I did have to like eyeball the colours on the website. So this is the W7 HD Concealer. We've got you covered and this is in the shade Fair Neutral 2. I love the packaging. Like if I wanted this one out of my drawer I would be able to see it instantly because of the like bright red lid and I really appreciate that. Ooh the wand is nice. That's a really nice big wand with the like dimple in the middle of it to get the product on. It feels very lightweight. I'm just going to bring it a little bit further down. Does smell a little painty. Not sure what to think of that <laughs> but I'm going to use a brush to blend this out to try and keep the coverage nice and high. That concealer has blended in so nicely like around my eyes and just built up the coverage a tiny little bit more so I'm just putting a little bit more down the center of my face just to like highlight a little bit like I say and I think that the finish of that is so nice similar to the foundation where it's like a natural radiant sort of really really nice finish. It's not full coverage, it's not at all full coverage but it's really really natural looking and I really really like that. It's like really fresh and summery feeling. I feel like my skin looks really really nice. So for bronzer I got one of the dupes for the Benefit bronzers. I also got a blush version because somebody commented on that last video saying how good these were so I thought I may as well pick them up. So this is the Honolulu Sun Light bronzer and like I say these are the like Benefit dupes. Obviously I've never tried the Benefit ones but I'm interested to see what this colour is like. Comes with a little brush. I suppose that would be good for nose contour. Obviously I'm in a rush today so I'm not going to be even attempting to contour my nose. I'm going to just use my regular Real Techniques 
blush brush and dip into there it's got like the imprint of a flower in it again doesn't have a scent okay so this bronzer is such a great color i wasn't sure like i would look at that in the pan and think that's so close to my skin tone that can't possibly work but i feel like that's just added a perfect like bronzy glow like it actually looks like my skin is more tanned which is obviously like the point of a bronzer um but i really really like that that looks so healthy again it's just making me look healthier which is of course great so then i also picked up the calm coral pot blush um this was the only one that they had in stock when i went on the website this isn't necessarily the one that i would have liked but still very excited to give it a go Ooh, that almost has like a shimmery something in it like the difference between the sides <laughs> i love this one as well oh my goodness the undertone of this is absolutely not something that i would have picked out but this is like summer on my cheeks and it's like so slightly glowy because I don't think I picked up a highlighter no I didn't pick up a highlighter I did get one in that mystery bundle though but I don't feel like I need one that is making my skin so nice and dewy Ooh, I love it so i picked up a brow pencil this is the stroke of genius micro blade brow pencil in brunette let me get into this packaging oh that is a tiny little pencil that looks like it's going to be very very good for me oh and it's not too warm either right i'm going to go up and do my brows and i'm going to try and do them as quick as i can this is normally the step that takes me the longest when i'm getting ready so like i say i'm in a rush this needs to go right the first time <laughs> okay we're having a great brow day that brow pencil is fantastic the color is perfect for me i would say it's just the right amount of like not too creamy and not too firm where you could get the little brow hairs the spoolie on the other end is also great that's like a really soft spoolie to like smudge it right through thank goodness we're having a good brow day for the eyes i did get two palettes um, and i haven't actually looked at these yet so <laughs> whichever one i don't use today i will use on another video and i'm not going to be able to like swatch these today like i say i'm in a massive rush so i got the w7 jewel explosion double sided eyeshadow and highlighter palette oh wow so yeah double sided so this is the eyeshadows so we've got like all of the like neutrally pinky colors i'm probably going to use this one today and then on the other side there's three highlighters it said i could not use those as highlighters they are like shimmery blushes i mean that one <laughs> i mean they're beautiful but highlighters they are not either way like i said i'm not um swatching anything today i'm just gonna get something on my eyeballs the other palette that i got is the sherbet pop pastel multi-textured pressed pigment palette Ooh, that's pretty i don't know if these colors will necessarily go with my outfit today i love the packaging for this sherbet pop one though it's all like metallic and then that's what those colors look like inside it's super pretty but i don't think it's necessarily the vibe for today like i'm wearing a dark dress um so i think i just want something a little bit neutrally across the eyes so i'm going to go in with the jewel explosions palette take off the little cover it's mine now um so these don't have names but I will zoom you in and we'll do some sort of eye look how about that i'm just going to put a little bit of the beauty bay eye base across the lids so that this does not budge all day and to like give the colors the best chance of like popping 
you know so putting a little bit of that on and i'll blend it out with a brush so i think i'm most drawn to this shimmery shade on the top row which i think is called trinket this one here which is like a creamy but then it looks like it's got a pink shimmer in it um and i think i'm just gonna do something quite neutrally i mean obviously there's only so many options that i can do with a palette that is pinks and browns um but i'm going to start with a big fluffy brush and i'm going to go into this one here which is a matte and this does have a mirror in it as well which is always incredibly handy to have oh that color is so pigmented i tapped into that this tiniest little bit i love the undertone of that as well that's really nice and warm so then I'm just going to use the same brush and I'm going to dip into that darkest brown again, which is a matte. I'm just taking a tiny bit of that right on the end of that brush. I'm just going to deepen up the outer corner a tiny bit. Don't want anything too intense or smoky or anything today. Just want a little bit of something. I think I definitely want that pink shimmer like right across the lid though. <laughs> and just like that other palette that I used from W7, these are blending incredibly easily. They are building up really nicely, really easily as well, but they are also like blending in together incredibly well. Okay, very very happy with that. I'm going to go in with that shimmer that I said about and I'm going to just use my finger that looks incredible. I'm going to tap that onto the lid. That's like not showing up how I thought it would. That almost looks more like a topper. I am going to have to do the same on the other side to make it equal, but that is not what I thought it was going to look like. Okay, I think I'm going to go in with this one on the bottom row. Again, just with my finger. And I'll put that... Oh, that's showing up so much more. Put that like more in the centre of the lid. Yeah, that second shimmer is showing up so much more than that first one. I wonder if that first one on the top row is more like a topper rather than like a straight up shimmer. I mean, it's pretty, don't get me wrong, it is pretty, it's just not what I was necessarily expecting it to be. Right, I will go in with this like pinky one on the bottom row because honestly at this point, why not? <laughs> I'm just going to tap that all over. Yeah, that one's nice as well. So I'm going to take the highlighter that I got in that mystery bundle, which is the Glow Commotion Shimmer Highlight. I absolutely love this. I'm going to take a little bit of that on a more dense brush and just pack that onto the inner corner because there really isn't anything in that palette that I could use there for my skin tone. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that on. Obviously when I say a little bit I mean a lot. <laughs> and I feel like that has just finished off the eyes nicely. So I do have a mascara but I don't think I love it and since I, like I keep saying, I am actually leaving the house today, I don't want to look crazy. I'm going to just go in with one of my favourites. So this is the Revolution 5D Whip Lift Mascara. So I will be right back once I've done my mascara and we can go on to the lips because another step that I'm very very excited about. <laughs> okay so that's the mascara done i feel like this is such a like warm summery look which is obviously very fitting with it being 30 degrees outside today so for the lips i have three new products here i had to pick up another shade of these lipsticks after i tried it in that last video i was absolutely mind blown and honestly the amount of messages that I've gotten on Instagram saying that people have picked up these lipsticks because they saw how incredible they were on that first video like please if you haven't tried these lipsticks these are the lip culture soft satin lipsticks this one is a new one to me like I say and this is in Naked Desire and let me just show you in real time how creamy these are like the amount of pigment that you get and it's so like it just feels like a lip balm so comfortable so hydrating absolutely amazing lipsticks and honestly was this like three pound fifty or something mad like that but i'm going to go in with these two today because i just think that this is more the vibe um so i got the lip twister 
lip liner and this is in the shade nude dude and this is like a mechanical pencil which we all know is what my preference is and then i also got a thick drip lip oil and this is in too close and did i or did i not pick this up because of the color of the packaging i mean i couldn't possibly comment oh my gosh that smells incredible that smells like sweets oh my gosh that smells so good so it's got the biggest little <laughs> biggest little does that make sense the biggest like applicator i'm going to do the lip liner first i really wish i could put my finger on what that smell is oh the lip liner that's really nice and creamy sometimes even with these like twisty up lip liners they can be a little bit dry and almost scratchy but that is really really nice obviously i'm most excited about this lip oil mm, i am sold that feels delicious that feels so nice and hydrating on the lips so this is my nearly full face of W7. Um, if you have any recommendations for a W7 mascara, I would love to know. Like I say, I'm going to do a full swatch and everything of that Sherbet Pop palette. So if you want to see that, I will be doing that very, very soon because I am so sold on the formula from W7 and these colors are just screaming summer. I mean pastels in summer groundbreaking i know but if you want to see that that will be coming very very soon if you have any other recommendations from w7 then please do let me know i will leave everything that i can find online linked down below but until next time thank you ever so much for watching bye